Welcome to PPT Genesis. So in today's video, we are going to see how to create a similar lubricating animation. So for that, first of all, we need to create a liquid shape. So let's insert a shape that's the oval shape. Okay, we are going to insert the shape. So by pressing the shift key, I'm going to create a circle. Now, we go to the add shape option. Here we are going to add the points. So as you can see. We have this point, and we are going to select the point to be smooth point. Okay, and let's adjust these points like this. Let's change these points. Let's experiment with these points. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. So now our shape is ready. Now in the next step. I am going to reduce the size of the shape. Okay, and I'm going to press the control key. Okay, this one I'm going to put it aside. And for this one, I am going to go to the shape fill. And in the shape fill, I will select the picture fill option, and I'll go for from a file. So here, I have this image. So I'm going to use this image. And for the shape, the shape outline is going to be no outline. All right. Okay. And now let's increase the size of the shape and let's shift it a little bit over here. Now let's increase the size of the shape. Okay. And let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. And send it back. Perfect. Okay. Now for this, the shape fill is going to be this darker shape. All right. And shape outline is going to be the no outline. Now let's press the Control D to make the exact copy. This time, increase the size a little bit. Okay. and let's send it backwards and this time the shape fill is going to be this color okay outline to be the no outline and let's shift it over here a little bit now let's make a copy of it by pressing the control d raise the size okay and shape fill is going to be the slider shape and send it backwards. All right. Now let's press Ctrl D one more time. And this time we are going to select the shape and go to the format shape option. In the format shape option, we'll go to the fill option and let's increase the transparency to around 80 percent okay and let's send it backwards let's shift it a little bit over or maybe let's do the transparency to 70 percent All right. All right, fine. Now in the next step, we are going to select all these shapes. Okay, and we'll go to the animations. And here we are going to select the spin animation. Okay, so it's spinning faster. So let's go to the animation pane. And the duration for them is going to be around 20 seconds. Okay, and go to the drop down menu, start with previous again. Drop down menu in the effect options, the timing let's repeat it until end of slide and press OK. So, like this, it is going to work. all right. Now, in the next step, we insert new shapes. So, we'll go to the shape option, and here we are going to select. The shape okay and let's 
Insert the shape of this kind and rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. Now in the next step, we are going to press the control D to make the exact copy and place it exactly on top of it. Again press the control D around 4-5 times. Okay. And now we are going to select all these shapes together. Okay. And now we are going to group them. So basically we have something of this kind. Okay, for all the shapes, the shape outline is going to be no outline and the shape fill is going to be the same darker shade which we have this. Okay, now let's zoom out a little bit and see. Now we'll go to the shape format option. Okay, let's go here and for this the transparency we are going to set to 60%. Okay. Now let's copy this by pressing the control D and let's place it adjacent to previous one and let's set the transparency to 70% okay similarly by pressing the control D copy it right and this time set the transparency to 60 percent sorry instead of 60 percent let's set it to 80 percent all right now let's select all the three by pressing the control key now press the control g to group them okay and now bring it over here okay this time we'll give the animation this line animation so motion path line animation okay and it's going down so let's change this right hand to here okay now we'll go to the animation pane and in animation pane we are going to select this animation start with previous and the duration is going to be around 15 seconds okay now in effect options here we'll go. We'll have no smooth ends, no smooth start. We'll select auto reverse, and in the timing, we are going to select repeat until end of slide. And press OK. Okay, now let's have a preview of this slide. So, somewhat of this kind is going to appear. 